Back again on Sunday. It's like that. I got the extra energy. It's been a neat day. It's been a kind of a magical day. And so um, I'm psyched and I just have the energy to share a little bit more. So what I'm going to try to um, do here is share what little I have of Susie and the Banshees. So um, someone asked about what about my <laughs> Susie collection. And part of the reason that I've hesitated is because it's so sad, you know. Now, I love Susie and the Banshees, but um, how would I explain the fact that I haven't bought more? Well, actually, I sold some. Um, that's right, I did. I had more Susie, and I sold some. I, you know, again, I've said the story many times, but I've been through changes in my life where I've sold records for a number of reasons. And, um... Chris Alvear recently asked that on Facebook if we have ever bought back something that we sold, wondering why we sold it in the first place <laughs> many times. And when I think of Susie, that's one. Uh, I, I kept some things and I sold, and then it's like I'd love to have them back. So I'll show you what I have, Susie and Susie related. It's, it's meager, you know, and I... I'm sure that someone could really, because Susie's got a lot of shit. She's got a lot of releases. I do have her uh, their first single, Hong Kong Garden. I have the red version. On Polydor. Let's see. Let me try to figure out when I bought this. This was released in 1978. I probably bought it in 1979 at the latest. Still a great song. And um, I was going to put it on, but I've got something on the turntable. And uh, I think I'll pop that back on. It's some Trent's Europe Express. The record is roached, but it's a good record. Uh, one of my 25 centers, which I will get to back to. I put some away, so anyway, Hong Kong Garden. Wheels on Fire. I really like this version of, of the Dylan song much, much better than we won't go there. What is cool is that Susie did this song because she thought it was a Julie Driscoll song. Um, Julie Driscoll did a real cool version of the song. Um, she uh, was with uh, Brian Auger in the Trinity. And that's how Susie first heard of it. So she thought that's who, whose uh, record it was. Excuse me. So consequently, it's more of a take on the way that um, th that version. I love this package too. And I like their B-sides, too. Susie is a band that has consistently... Okay, I'll put those away later. You know, the B-sides, all their music is interesting. I kiss them for me. This is when I finally got to see them on this tour, when they uh, did the first Lollapalooza. And for me, the my experience was that Susie and the Banshees blew everyone else away. Everyone. They captivated me. And my friend Frank, we were gobsmacked. They ruled. She was majestic. And the band was just mm, one of the top concert experiences of my life. And I've seen a bunch. Susie, so that's one thing I do want to share about Susie and the Banshees is that Truly, one of the top five experiences live music that I've ever experienced was seeing Susie and the Banshees. She is a woman, just she ruled and they sounded so good. Okay, so um, I managed to keep the scream. I bought this when it came out. This is the US. That ring, wet ring wear is uh, well deserved. Love this album to this day. Be a carcass. Oh man, shit rocks. So I have big gaps. I don't, ha I don't have Juju and and Kaleidoscope, and I had those, but I don't. So I have Peep Show. Yeah, I'm a little embarrassed actually. I love Susie, you know, and you don't see the records at. Well, I mean, like 
just digging and shopping. I don't come across her albums. You can find stuff online and you know you know where I'm at with that. Great song. Song from the Edge of the World. 12 inch single. Great song. The whole price of blood and mechanical eyes are the other songs on here. Love this song. Fireworks, 12 inch single. And this is the album, Kiss in the Dream House. Why did I sell that? Love that album. I have it on the computer. I don't have it on vinyl or CD. I have a few CDs to the show. Fireworks. I love Susie's aesthetic. Top to bottom. Just love how I mean, just love how she does stuff. The Thorn, 12 inch single. UK pressings, that's what these are. Slow Dive, what a fantastic song. Man. And like I say, there's a lot I don't have here. What is this? 12 inch promo of uh, Fear of the Unknown, featuring remixes by Junior Vasquez from when she did the uh, Batman movie. She would have been a great Catwoman, and we've heard that said many times, but I agree. Susie is Catwoman. Woman is badass. And then the last 12 inch I have is The Rapture. And there is actually one very good Susie song in here. What is the name of it? I can't remember. I'll have to play. But I remember listening to this and discovering, oh, okay, there's a good song in here. This is... Luminous, it glows in the dark. So for, I guess they had to, not guess, marketing, getting records off the shelf. I believe this was the last proper Susie and the Banshees record and then they broke up. And, um, you know, for all that they did, it's fine, this is how they went out. I have a few CDs. Yeah, put my peeps on here so I can. So yeah, thank God. I see. I don't. Even, I haven't even looked in a while. I do have "Kiss in the Dream House" on CD. This is. I love this album. Um, it's not consistently fantastic, which is why it's not considered like Juju or something, you know. But this is probably my favorite Susie album. I just love what she was going after on this album. I think there's, uh, Susie has always, to me, had aspects of, um, not prog, but I guess the word is avant-garde, you know what I'm saying? She'll have an idea and she'll just do it. Through the Looking Glass. All those uh, covers. And well done. I love the, her version of Sparks. And You're Lost, Little Girl? I like it better than uh, The Doors. I ain't lying. And I do, I've been with the Doors since the beginning, but I like her version better. Superstition. Love this album, actually. Love it. Love Susie. Look at that woman, she's a queen. You cannot mess with her. I mean, if you want to talk about a badass bitch, God damn, she's one of them, you know. You know, I think of her, and then I think of people like Erica Badu. You know, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's badass. Some singles here. Um, I bought this. I was a bit disappointed, but it's actually gotten better over time. Oh, baby. As a song, it, it really has gotten better. I just went ahead and bought them both when it came out. Now that I think about it, I've got some Susie and the Banshees cassettes i got to try to find. Superstition. No, Shadow Time. Love this single. Let me take it out. Love this song, Shadow Time. See, they just got a way of just doing these sublime songs that... See, to me, this is the way that radio... I wish that radio sounded like this. I mean, it's perfect, not perfect, but it's wonderful pop music. 
that you can't hear on the airwaves. This is just, as always, can't help the commentary people, it's, it's who I am. In my world, this is what the radio is supposed to fucking sound like. Susie and the Banshee, the people, come on. What else do I have here? Oh yeah, another Kiss, kiss Them For Me. CD, maxi single. Love her. Fear of the Unknown. I have this version. Then I have this version. And they're both com completely different mixes on both. So, I mean, this is a bunch. Of, this one's a bunch of remixes. And then this one is B sides. And they're worth it. They're worth it. That's what I have by Susie and the Banshees. I, I did pull also because what I have is just a couple of related things. I have one album by The Creatures, Susie and Budgie, Beast. Just played this the other day. Fantastic. Very tribal and... Yes, back to, you know, just really from the gut. Love it. I love that cover too. And I have Creatures on CD. Um, the Creatures, ha! You need to actually li listen to this more. It also has a DVD. I've watched the DVD, which is pretty cool. It's um, Budgie with these Kodo drummers in Japan. So that's pretty cool. And then the other thing I have is the glove. Steve Severin's project with Robert Smith from The Cure, Blue Sunshine. I like this album. And I have a Steve Severin CD, Visions, some of his uh, solo work. So I got some Susie. I'd love to have a whole lot more.